Hello everybody and welcome to Nicole's Test Kitchen Craft Edition. I hope everybody's well. Missed you last week, but of course it was a crazy week due to the Oak Fire and evacuations. And I was one of the ones evacuated, but uh, everything was safe and we were, we were able to return home um, on Thursday afternoon. But unfortunately, some people did lose things and my heart goes out to them. And I, a great big shout out to everyone who helped during um, this incident, the fire personnel, the sheriff's department, the community members who posted in the different Willits Facebook pages, the people who helped out the shelters with the animals and basically the whole community. So thank you very much and glad um, everyone was able to get out safely and um, that it's died down a little bit, although we're still, and many in Willits are still, um, are affected by the August complex fire. So, you know, big shout out to the universe that, you know, that fire gets um, worked on safely and quickly and that the firefighters who are working and everyone who's working on that um, get enough rest and are able to have a successful completion and everyone who's evacuated can get back home. Um, so, I want to, today, well, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do today. I had an idea in my head and it didn't quite work out the way I wanted, but I will show you that anyway at the end. But I really, um, last week, or not last week, but the last time we were here, I we did the leaf luminaries. And so I was going to go ag again with that kind of idea, but using uh, different mediums. But in, it didn't quite work out, like I said, and I'll show you um, my tests. Um, I think I can salvage them, but it it's going to take a little bit more work than I want to show you on camera. But... I still wanted to focus on nature and art in nature. So um, I took some of the leaves I gathered the, uh, a couple weeks ago and then I gathered some more leaves today. And so I'm gonna do some leaf art. Um, so it's all, it's gonna be, uh, you know, improvised. Um, don't have a full plan, but that's why it's called Nicole's Test Kitchen. But what I'm gonna do, um, is kind of do some like leaf printing. So I'm going to use acrylic paint and paint my leaves and then I'm going to print them on the paper. So this is kind of based on the idea of a of mandala, but it's not quite, you know, a mandala figure. Um, I think I included that in the uh, one of the links I have put in the description. Um, but I kind of, I wanted to set out, a, do a pattern or a kind of a design so that, um, there is, it will turn into something. So I'm not gonna, hopefully you can see right here. Um, kind of did a, you know, kind of the same leaf in a four pattern and then some, you know, different leaves for the corners. But I'm gonna, gonna do two and two things in one. I'm On this, I'm gonna paint all these leaves and then print them on this page in this pattern. And then I'm gonna take the printed, uh, the painted leaves and I'm gonna put them on this paper and I'm gonna sort of collage them. I'm gonna attach them to this paper. So we'll see how that turns out. And really the colors, I haven't really planned any my colors, but um, I picked out some of the, my, you know, some of the, some fun ones. And so we'll see how this turns out. So uh, bear with me, let's go, let's paint. And I have my, uh, I'm using a paint sponge today. So, let's see, I haven't quite figured out the best way I'm gonna go about this, but I think I'm just gonna, let's start with a red color. This will be really bright. So I'm gonna, oops, should shake it a little bit. Splurt it on here. Now when you're doing the printing, you'll see how I do it, but it also may be helpful to um, to have like a roller, if you have a roller to help with the print. I'm just using my hands. 
and basically all I'm doing is painting the leaf. Kind of a good coat. Probably should have used another piece of paper as a to lay my leaf on instead of the thing I'm putting the paint on, but you know, that's why I call it Nicole's Test Kitchen. Basically, it's an excuse for a mess, right? So here goes my first one. So I'm just gonna fix my pattern a little bit here. So I'm just gonna press it down into the page. Try to get all of it pressed to the page so that all the paint sticks. And that's why, that's why I mentioned maybe using a roller. My uh, colleague Julie mentioned that. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. But I didn't happen to have one with me, so. Uh, okay, so let's pick that up. And there's my first print. So I will show you the effects afterward. Um, I'm going to just kind of lay this down on my other piece of paper in the pattern. So let me, let's see, let's pick a different color. And there might be a little bit of mixing of colors because but that's all right, I like to mix. Okay, let's do a purpley color. Kind of mix in with that red. Okay, uh, let's see if I can fix it faster in my hands. Hands will get pretty painty, but that's all right. And the leaves do look really pretty with the uh, the paint. Of course, of course, you know, nature is beautiful on its own too, but color never hurts. Let's see, I kind of want to thin that layer out a little bit so it doesn't splotch up. Okay. And here I go with my second print. Might be a little smudged because I moved it a little bit. That's all right. Definitely will fall into the abstract category of art. A little smudgier, but still cool. Okay. Let me get another. Always have my supplies at hand, mainly because I don't always know what I'm doing at a time, and so I like to have things that I can just reach by hand. Um, so I'm going to use this as my template now, or just my thing to lay things down on. Okay, let's kind of rinse that. And I'm gonna go for this metallic teal. Not a lot of action going on, but you can use this as a meditation or following along and while you're doing your own painting and I'm making a huge mess, but I have nice paper covering my table. Kind of. Okay. Oops, I don't need quite as much. Okay. This one I might have to press down a little more because it's starting to curl, but that's all right. Just I'm aware, nice layer paint. See, it'll be really pretty on the other page because that is a kind of just enhances the beauty of the leaf. 
Alright. Okay. Press, press. Oops, a little out in nature. And then my last, last of the middle leaves. And let's see with that one. I think I might do a symmetrical. So having the two teal ones. Because I really do like this teal color. And I don't know if you know if you notice a trend on my painting videos, especially when I'm using, doing the acrylic paints, I tend to go for our metallic acrylic paints because I have a little preference for them. I don't know, I just love, um, love the way the colors turn out. So I love them so much that <laughs> we're starting to run low, so I'm gonna have to replenish it. Okay, so here's my last leaf. Okay, and the little curls. Okay, that one up. So when I lifted this up to show you, you'll notice that even though the leaves look similar, they uh, have a different pattern. They get a different pattern because of the way they curl and the way they, you know, the paint attaches. I'm going to use ugh, sponge, sponge, sponge. Might have been better with a regular paintbrush, but I thought I like the wider sponge. All right, so my, uh, let's see, my four corners. I think I'm going to go for more green. <laughs> Some nature green. This one's festive. This is a festive color green. And so let's see, I'm going to do it on this one here. Actually, I'm not going to do it on this corner. I'm going to do it on the top corner. And this will have a little bit of that teal color from the brush. But I, again, I kind of like when it mixes a little bit like that because you really get a surprising color. turns out pretty cool most of the time sometimes it turns into a shade that you're not quite sure of this green is so close to the the actual leaf it's hard to tell that it's painted oops okay let's see won't quite be in the same pattern as I started out with but that's okay What I find with these projects that I've done with you over the summer and into the fall right now um, is that I don't always do them for the results. Interesting, that lots of them a lot more splotchier. Um, but I do it because it's, it's meditative and it really takes you away from, you know, perhaps the crazy stresses of the day and um, it's just sometimes it's nice to um, just get away from the phone or the email, even, you know, Facebook, even though that's what I'm on and you're on, um, 
but just to, you know, get involved in with nature, with art, with uh, expressing your creative side. And I'm lucky I get to call this work because I'm entertaining you. But it's really been, especially, you know, with all that's going on, you know, this past six, seven months, you know, what's going on now, to just even if you're able to just take some time for yourself or even work with, you know, your a, a family member, a friend, and just sit there enjoying each other's company but, and creating art at the same time. This will be a little golden. Teal mixed in. Kind of want to get into the nooks and crannies of this leaf because it's very, very flat and smooth. Some of the veins will poke out here. Huh. Okay, so two more leaves to go. Okay, let's see what color. I did a kind of gold. I haven't done a blue. Let's Let's do blue. Shake, shake, shake. So, I don't know how many of you will watch my Steam videos. Um, that's, they're also fun for all ages. They're mostly aimed at kids, but really anyone of all ages can watch them and have fun, especially if you like to make messes. But anyway, this week we had a, a special um, Steam video focused on the census, the 2020 census. And so I'm just going to reiterate the importance of doing the sentence, the sentence, the census. Um, so I, um, because it helps every city, town, and our and the whole county with funding, um, with representation, you know, in our government, um, and a variety of uh, different things. So if you haven't done the census, you can go online to census.gov. You can um, to do it online to get their phone number. You can do it by phone. And then you can also do it by mail. Um, and right now, well, the deadline I think is um, in question, but right now the deadline is the 30th. So if you haven't done it, do it. Because as I said numerous times on Wednesday, everybody counts. So everyone takes the census. No matter how, what your age, what your status, you count. All right, so this is blue. This one might be a little splotchy because I have doing this in an awkward way because that's how I roll. Okay. So can you believe it? This weekend will be fall, September 20th, the fall. I don't know. Time just keeps going by so quickly. All right. Let me take the last one off. Oh, not the last one. Oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. One more. One more leaf. And, and, and. Let's see. What color should I... Do the final one in. Uh, a variety of colors here. Which one haven't I used? 
think I'll go for the copper. This is one of the ones you're especially running low on because all of us who are, you know, work with our art supplies really like this color. Okay, let's see. There we go. A little plate. This one's so small, I kind of need to have it lying on the surface in order to coat it. So this one might have some tinges of blue, but that's okay. Ooh, it's kind of turned into a pretty color. It's like almost like a sunrise or a sunset. Okay, so let me get my plate out of the way here. Do my last leaf print. Okay. <laughs> that one might just stick there. All right, let's see if I can take this off smudging. Oops. Might have a little difficulty. Oops. Oh, interesting. Wow, look how pretty that turned out with the paint. I don't know if you can really see, but really, adding paint to, you know, the leaves, the leaves that, you know, are outside your house or you see on your, on your walk, not the ones that are still on the trees, but the ones that have fallen, um, it, the paint really enhances their beauty. Okay, so this one is a little more smudged. I might have to do some, you know, creative playing around with a paintbrush. But, oh, let me just grab a paper towel to hold this up with so I don't get paint smudges because, as you can, can, can you tell what I've been doing? <laughs> Okay, so this is my result. So a lot of cool little patterns. Again, you can, you know, add some extra touches with other um, types of leaves. I might add, um, I have a few like pine. So I might do some pine to add some color, um, different touches. And then I might you know, smooth out the smudge and turn it into something else, but really can get some cool patterns. Another thing that you may want to do is, you know, letting it dry and then um, doing some additional leaf prints so you can get kind of a layers of color. I have to admit, I'm still working on how to successfully do the layers um, of color, but I know that is something that can be done. So that is definitely a, still a work in progress, but I know a lot of fun to do. And then here is my one I'm gonna, you know, turn into a collage with the painted leaves. You can see. So that will be really pretty. Oops, of course, there they go. That's all right. They're mostly dry. I think mostly remember the pattern. Oh, so let's, oh my goodness. I've been rambling on, haven't I? So before I let you go today or I finish this video, um, let me show you one of the things that I was going to do or is in progress, but I, the execution of it didn't turn out quite the way I was hoping. I was having a little bit of trouble and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna make it work. But anyway, it was the idea, you know, based on luminaries that we did last week, I, I one of the links I've included in the description talked about creating candle holders with mason jars with leaves. And um, I didn't have a bunch of mason jars and it's kind of hard to find them right now in the um, hardware store because they've been sold out but I did have some leftover or leftover I had vases that I had gotten from the dollar store 
anyway, so in the description, it, I'm using Mod Podge to attach the leaves to the vase. Um, so this is wh what's going on so far. I had a lot of difficulty because the, the leaves weren't sticking because they were curling. And so, and then it looked really messy and I'm still, you know, have to play around with how. Um, what I did first was kind of coat the vase in Mod, Pod Mod Podge and then stick the leaves on, but then they weren't sticking and it was, it turned into a bit of a mess. Some choice words were said, so it was good that I wasn't on camera. Um, but I, I left it overnight and as it dries, it's, it looks interesting. It's definitely uh, uh, probably only be ha happy in my home. Um, <laughs> but um, here's, um, so these are leaves that I had actually treated before with Mod Podge to make them stiffer, but they were a little bit difficult because they kept curling and they were hard to um, stick. I also included some, you know, leaves that I hadn't treated. They were just fresh and they were flat and they stuck on a little better. The small one, leaves, it's kind of hard through the glass. Um, and then, so, um, this is one I was, I've been working on today. Um, again, I, I'm trying to figure out the best way to use it with the Mod Podge. Instead of coating the whole thing with Mod Podge and stick it, sticking it on, I just was um, doing one leaf at a time. And then after I'm done putting the leaves on, I'm going to do a, a, a another coat of Mod Podge around the whole thing. Um, this is a mixture of mostly leaves, real leaves, and then I also included, for color, um, some silk leaves. Now, I believe the um, link that I linked to you with this idea, um, from what I remember, they did use, they were using like the faux leaves. Um, so that may make a difference in how things stick because it was a little, because they are flat and they don't tend to curl up as much. Um, but I have to admit, I have also had a little difficulty of like where to hold it and try to keep it um, pressed on. So I'll work on these some more and uh, show you what happens with my finished results. Maybe they'll turn into something. Um, but definitely with the smaller mason jars, um, you could use them as candle, ho uh, candle holders. Um, or yeah, candle, you know, that's where I think they, the idea is like the candle as candle holders. Um, and they also recommended, um, you know, the mason jars that you use, you know, that are really uh, are smooth and that people use for crafts. I'm just using one that, you know, one of the, a ball mason jar that, um, from, I, uh, that I recycled from, this one had salsa in it made by my wonderful uncle and aunt in Vermont who make a lot of canned goods for us. Um, um, but so it kind of, sometimes they have a little bit more texture or I don't know, you know, <laughs> so I don't know if that will make a difference either. Anyway, enough rambling for today. Thank you for joining me for Nicole's Test Kitchen Craft Edition. And I hope I will see you next week. Um, who knows what I'll make. Um, maybe something with beads, but I'm not sure. Anyway, have a really wonderful weekend. Um, if you are in areas that are affected by fire and you're evacuated, um, stay safe. Um, best wishes goes out, might goes out to you and your families. Um, and anyway, have a safe, wonderful weekend. Have a restful weekend and I'll see you next week.